Welcome back guys. We're gonna do a complete overhaul of the rail network for Southside. Okay, now you're probably going, what? <laughs> uh, why would you do that? Well, it's this has all been triggered by one really small issue and it's plastic. Let me explain. The, the issue is actually over here in Westside. Over in Westside, there is no chemical plant to produce plastic. There, just, there isn't one anywhere, right? Um, that's that's the the only one on this side of the river, and uh, and we're already using it. Now there are like there's one like way up there, but uh, I don't really want to use that. The one I want to use is this one. Um, so that gives me a problem. Now there is one other. Fortunately, there is one other chemical plant. Uh, we're already using that one, right? But there's one other chemical plant that we can use. And it's this one here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change from using that one to using this one. Now, this led me from one thing to another thing to another thing. So, for example, if I'm going to if I'm going to use this, then instead of shipping the oil from the crude oil from Biggleswade Oil Well to here, and then all the way along here to get it refined into refined oil and then shipping the refined oil all the way back there. No, we're not doing that anymore. We're just gonna take the oil, ship it um, straight to the refinery, direct this way, and then the refined oil can go straight to the, uh, the chemical plant, and then the plastic can be shipped back, right? Much easier. But it then means that we don't need this line up here. So if we get rid of that line, then you know what? It would kind of make sense to get rid of this line as well, the, the, the logging line, and have the logging line, instead of coming around here, cut across here and, and consolidate all the lines onto a single track going down this side of the valley, um, coming around into the freight station. Now, I wanna move the freight station. I, I, I kind of, I've been thinking about this for a while. I, and it, what really makes sense is to move it over here so that it touches the uh, the plastics factory and do a kind of a, a bit of a complex going on over here. Now, if I move that over here, then I want to change the way that the freight goes through the Chudley Valley. What I want is for it to come um, up this side of the valley. I want to move this freight station to the other side of Chudley to keep the freight all going this side of Chudley. Move the freight line from this side of Aspatria over to this side right so that we're on the same line because you see this 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 steak bake factory <laughs> this food factory um, we're, we're taking the line up here and then switching it across there to go over there does it, it doesn't make any sense it makes sense for it to be over here so um, yeah what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna leave um, at least parts of these old lines in um, certainly here, this this part will probably get moved up here a bit, and I'm going to put in heritage lines with old steam trains, and the same with with this part of this track. Again, it's probably going to get moved around a bit um, to to better take advantage of the views. And what I mean by that is, for example, when you when you come over here, you get this fantastic view of the valley. The problem is that once it goes around this corner, okay, now you you virtually can't see anything. And then just as it starts to curve around so you can see it again, you go into a tunnel and then it's facing in this direction so you can't really see anything. So we wanna change change the, the angles so that we get better views of the valley. That's, um, that's the plan. So a um, couple of heritage lines, um, completely change the freight lines and stations all the way through the Chudley Valley. And guess what? Uh, it, like if I'm going to do that, then I want to do it here as well. I don't want this going through. Like, there's no. It's pointless having it going through this station over here. Um, so I think we'll it will move this over over to this side, which probably. So I'm going to change this station as well because we'll change the orientation of that. And like everything gets changed. And then it's like, well, you know what? I might change this as well then, it's, and have these lines instead of them just being buried in a tunnel which like isn't that much fun. Um, have them going up the side of the river and then like curving around up here. So that is kind of the plan. 
Um, yeah, the first, this is the second time, the first, the first, this is the second time I'm recording this video. It's the first time I recorded it and I explained all my reasoning and, ra and the ramifications of, of what I'm gonna do. And it took 30 minutes. And then I thought, ah, yeah, I probably better cut that down a bit. So, shall we begin? Now I'm gonna do this bit by bit. So I'm not gonna try and do it all in one go. I'm gonna try and cut it into manageable chunks. But there are gonna be some, some pretty big benefits to doing, the, doing this. Mainly in, mainly in like looks and stuff. Right, um, doing this first bit, because I could, I could just jump into time lapse and do the whole thing in time lapse, but there is stuff that I kind of want to talk to you about and explain. So, the first thing I'm going to do is move the Biggles Wade station. That is job one. So let me let me run this on. I just want to kind of get the majority of the train. Okay, so you're heading out. Okay, right. So I, I kind of know where everything is. So we've got. We've got these four tracks coming into two platforms here. The the next two platforms, three and through, three and four, are straight through, and then we've got stuff coming into these four platforms on the outside. Now, we're going to be routing two extra uh, lines into here, so we actually need ten lines. We only need eight platforms, but we need ten lines. If we if we click on this. We're using, um, yeah, man, we, we, well, we could actually do with more because we're using four, five, six, seven. We're using seven platforms now. We're adding two more lines. We could do with nine platforms, but yeah, the most we can get is eight. So um, yeah, unless I install another mod, which, which I'm not gonna do at the moment. I might do it later, but we'll, we'll live with it for now. So let's, um, let's do this. First thing I'm gonna do is demolish this and reroute these lines. So, goodbye, Biggles Wade Freight Station. Boom. Then what I'm gonna do is grab a, a flexible freight station and I'm gonna make sure, <laughs> like I think that's gonna be too far away to pick, to pick this up. Where is it? Um, to pick up this station again. So, if I move that, you'll see that this will, yeah, this has picked everything up. And then if I demolish it again, it'll stay there. And then if I get another one. Now it should move over to here when I, when I put it in properly. So this is gonna be, um, first of all, I want it round that way. This is gonna be eight platforms, 320, high speed, catenaries, yeah, for, at least for the time being. I want both street connections. I want, um, both of the A connections, and I want the left one. Yeah, that's what I want. Then I want um, a couple of um, transit tracks. Um, so we'll put these. Now you can put them in. You can put them in track A. Let me show you. Track A puts them on the left hand side like that, or you can have them on B, which puts them on the the, the left hand side or you can have them in the middle, which doesn't actually put them in the middle, it puts them there, but that'll do. Now, that's four transit tracks. I only want two, so we'll just, we'll just have it like that. Now, what I wanna do is line it up with this so that I can make a bit, of a bit of a complex out of this. Now, I am thinking, though, that I'll have a road coming down here, so probably only a medium road. So I am kinda thinking to put that in first Am I going to put? I'm going to put that in first. I think. Am I going? To, I don't know. I, I, I'm not even a hundred percent sure that I am going to have a road coming down there. But yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Right. Okay. Way too many freaking roads. That's for sure. Uh, I want a medium. Here we go. Medium country road. You're not coming out at ninety degrees, are you? Come on. Please come out at ninety degrees for me. It's not much to ask. It doesn't, it just doesn't want to come out at 90 degrees like ever. The, if I want it to come out, what it should do is bring that out like that. Let's make that flat. Okay, that's flat. And then, then this should come out at 90 degrees. There we go. To about, there should be good. Right, that should be flat. 
and then oh. see again the, the best thing to do is to run it on and then try and bring it out if you've got a much better chance of it there we go that's coming out at 90 degrees so and again if I run it on put that in and then that's probably further out than I need it to be. That's... Ah. Come on, come out. Come out straight. Come out straight. Is that... That doesn't look straight to me. Is that straight? I think actually it is. Is it straight? Well, you know what? Uh, no, because there's a collision for a start. Um, how, oh, this thing... Oh, it goes out to there. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So let's put this out about there, I guess. See, that's going out. That's going out at an angle. Please come out. Why won't you just come out straight, for God's sake? It re Honestly, it really is not that much to ask. Okay, you know what? I can't be bothered to argue with it anymore. That'll do. Right. So now, uh, do I want to get rid of that little end there and just plug it on there? I think... So let's, let's trim that back. Station. Uh, what size roads do I want? That's a good point. I always forget that. What size road? I want um, I want country new, and I want street size medium. Okay. So about there. Is where I want it. You know what? Let's let's look top down so that we can actually get this lined up. So this needs to come around about there, I think. Is that? Yeah, that looks pretty lined up to me. All right, so let's have you. Oh, pixel further up, there we go, that'll do. <laughs> cool, awesome source. Now, another thing that's changing is the way that freight is gonna be shipped into the cities, but you know what, we'll talk about that another time. Um, okay, having done that, um, I now need to like demolish all these lines, run all of these lines into here. Um, same with these, I need to bring these back. Now, eventually, they're gonna be going um, up here. But for now, uh, am I gonna do it now? I don't think, no. I think I'm just gonna route these lines in. We'll do it bit by bit, because there's, there's just so freaking much to do. So uh, I think at this point we can switch to the time lapse and and we'll we'll start getting some of this done. And off we go with lots and lots and lots of demolition work to do. Got to rip out all of these old tracks. I mean, literally we're gonna replace. I would think by the time we're done, I would think we're gonna replace like. 70, 70 to 80 percent of the tracks in uh, in the whole of Southside. So yeah, a lot to do, a lot to do. When I sat down this morning, I thought, uh, what should I do? I was like, you know what? Let's get Apex finished. I'll uh, I'll just like you know like two two more episodes, you know, one for the goods and one for the tools and uh, tools and machines. Get get Epec done, that, and, and I was like, that that those you like shouldn't take me too long. <laughs> that was like that was like nine o'clock this morning. It's now, it's now quarter past one in the morning. It's been a very long day sorting this out. Man, I, seriously, this has taken some figuring out. It is incredibly complex now. The, the, the whole railway network. And when you're looking at it as a whole, like it's kind of easy when you're looking at individual lines, but when you're looking at it as a whole and saying, okay, if I want to like consolidate my lines and have everything as neat and tidy as possible, man, it, it gets pretty complicated. But I think it's gonna be, I think, I hope that you guys will agree that when it's all done, it's gonna be so much better. Like the views on the rides are gonna be like so much better and the lines are gonna be so much more realistic and 
yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be worth doing. And, um, like, there's so much that I can do better. Now, these, um, these lines that I'm putting in now, they're temporary. We'll, we'll be sorting them out properly in the next episode. Um, for now, I'm just, I'm just rerouting this tram route so that it still works. Just getting rid of it from where I was running it before. That, tra that tram right, really wanted to stay on this side of the tracks. <laughs> it like, kept hiding on little chunks of road. Yeah, now when I said I was going to do this bit by bit, um, obviously bit is a relative term. Like what, what is a bit to one person might be, you know, a huge chunk to someone else. So I've ripped, so I've ripped out, um, Biggles Wade Freight Station. Okay. And I've laid these lines back in. I'm now taking this line out again because I want this line instead of going through this tunnel, um, because I don't mind li I don't mind really short tunnels. Really short tunnels are really cool, right? Long tunnels are boring, right? So I'm now ripping that line out. And this line, I don't like the fact that this line runs so close to the airport. So we're going to redo this line so that it's like way, way better. And it ends up being very cool because I put in a flying junction um, and I use some of the new mods to get um, to get uh, concrete edges to some of the tracks, some 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 of the elevated tracks. Uh, it it's actually quite cool. It's actually quite cool. Here I'm just trying to find like what's a good level um, to get the track like around the hill uh, and keep my track speeds up and you know that, like get the views that I want to get and stuff. It's um. Yeah, I mean, I probably, I don't know. I mean, I'm probably insane the amount of time and effort that I put put into, you know, trying to get it like just so. But but then then again, like when I do when I do like ride on a train, and it and I get those great views and whatever, then I feel that it's like totally worth it. So here, I I know that I'm going to be bridging this. So. I'm trying to get a route, like a, like a curve on the track that gives me the the track speeds that I want, but it's also going to give me the the level of elevation that I need to get across the tracks, knowing that I'm going to put in um, a flying junction, which which does like kind of make it diff slightly different. Uh, here I am playing with that that concrete edging mod. And basically, it, um, it's a type of bridge that has, um, that has a concrete base. And here, I was kind of so obsessed with that that I completely forgot about the fact that I needed to put a flying junction in. So I haven't put the flying junction in yet. <laughs> That'll come later. Oh dear. Seriously, you, you get kind of engrossed in one thing and then you forget about other things and yeah it, it is what it is i was having a lot of i gotta say i was having a lot of fun it um it was kind of mammoth and it, my brain was starting to melt after like after like many hours this actual time lapse is only like two and a half hours um i'd i'd already had like some trial runs on various bits and pieces of the of the different routes, uh, just trying things, uh, station placements and and track placements, and playing around with some of the new mods to to make sure that I knew exactly how to use them the best way and stuff like that. Um, but when I actually sat down, and this is the whole thing, this isn't edited. This is the whole thing, warts and all, and it's um, yeah, it's two and a half hours condensed down to like what is it like 20 22 minutes or something and I yeah I'm I'm kind of in two minds about this these these concrete edges um, I've been trying them out in different places and 
that bridge there that we were just looking at, I think that's that's a good place to use them. But I'm also using them. Look, oh, look at those. I'm ch see. I'm checking the views. Uh, this bit. Uh, I, I think it's this bit coming up. Actually, I I put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this bit coming in, coming up. I put in a, a a concrete edging. I'd already done one a little bit further back down the track, but I put in another one here. Um, I don't know. This is this is it. This is it. This is where I'm going to put this this concrete edging in, and I don't know about it. I'm I'm really in two minds. So, yeah, drop me a comment and let me let me know what you think about using these concrete edgings. Um, like other than like where it's where it's like a flying junction or it's um, you know like like a tunnel or a bridge, like in a in an urban area then I think it's the right place to use it. Here, I don't think this is the right place to use it. But like, see what you, like have a look and see what you think. And uh, see, that's, that's what I'm doing now. And then what I'm doing is I'm, I'm filling in the other side so that it's just, just ordinary on the other side, but so on, on the left hand side you get the concrete wall and on the right hand side it's just it's just the normal flat earth. Yeah, I I'm very much in two minds. Yeah, I'm I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, I'm very, very not convinced. Look at that plane coming into land, just sitting there in midair. I love that. All right, so now there it's just created a bit of a cliff and I, I think that's actually better than, than putting in the concrete edging in this in this situation. But where it's um, where it's in an urban setting, then I think it looks much more realistic to have like concrete edgings to stuff. It looks um, it, the mod in the in the description of the mod, it actually says to, to, to make it look more like like proper engineering projects. And I think they're absolutely right. I think that's exactly what it does. It makes it look like a, a properly engineered bridge or whatever, or tunnels. Tunnel entrances are really cool as well. So uh, we're now moving on to the, the, the new oil and ripping out the old oil line. This is the Biggles Wade crude and oil line and um, I'm just ripping it out there back to the logs and ripping out the log station because that's going to go but in the end I decided because I was going to leave the tracks in there and then in the end I decided you know what I I'm going to change the the line slightly anyway so you know what I'll, I'll rip it out I'll leave all the terrain exactly as it is, so I know exactly what the original route was, but I think it's better to just lay it again from uh, from scratch. And I'll be using like old, uh, like the, the, the slow track, so it looks dirty and, and stuff like that. I might even play around with the narrow gauge mod. I'm not sure, we'll see. So I'm taking the, uh, the logs line back so that I can reroute it um, through this station and um, and when I started to do this I thought ah, yeah we're gonna have another nice bridge here <laughs> so I ended up playing around with this I don't like my bridges it's just a fact but this one proved to be a blooming nuisance it just the the road just wasn't going down quite fast enough so I had to play around with the terrain a fair amount to get the thing to to really do what I wanted it to do. And it was only like it, it was a it was a fractions. It was just not quite making the bridge. But in the end, got it. And I do like those new bridges. That's the um that's the, the French Pont de Vers is the is the mod if you uh, if you want to pick that up. The awesome bridges. I'm, I'm using those a lot now. Like pretty much all my railway bridges are, are that type. So uh, now what I'm doing is I'm just putting in a, a temporary loop 
for the uh, for the logging line to to basically cut out the the station by the chemical factory. That's the one that goes down with the. You can see it there in the top, the top right-hand corner. That one. So I've, I've basically cut that out of the loop. So the logs now, or the logging trains, will only go from the logging to the goods factory. They won't go to the sawmill. But that's temporary. It's that's just to, just to keep things organised. Right. What I'm going to do now is get rid of all the trains on all the lines in between this um, this station and Biggleswade. So the fuel line, the the goods line, the construction materials line, um, the the slag line, uh, the, the the crude, the yeah, like all of those lines and get rid of all the trains on all of those lines. There they go, all zipping away. Then I can rip out this station and reposition this station. And I'm just kind of keeping a track of the, the lines that I got rid of the trains on so that I know which ones are, I've got to repopulate afterwards. So, like I said, one man's bit is one man's enormous chunk. So we're also replacing these lines that go down to this huge container yard or container harbour I suppose and also there's um I found a mod for a, a huge container ship definitely gonna be using that in the future it looks it looks really cool but I don't know whether I'm gonna be well I probably will use it going to this harbour but I want to do a, a harbour that's like this but uses the uh, the container uh, the container freight station like I used in the in the big container freight station I, I'm really amazed that nobody has made like a proper container harbor like with you know with like like all the containers all over it and that would be so cool if like if any modders want to make that god I'd use that Do you know there's no there are no freight harbor mods on the steam workshop like none, not one at all. Now I did talk about this later. Uh, that uh, that little bit that I was doing with the tracks down at the um, at that that harbour was this is part of the realism of of getting like having as few tracks as possible, but as they approach a station, fanning out so that you've got lots of platforms but relatively few um, tracks in between the stations if, if that makes sense because you want lots of platforms because trains you know trains may sit at platforms for a while and and, and whatever but the tracks laying miles and miles of tracks is really expensive so you want you want your tracks to be as used as possible and you don't want to use you don't want to build more tracks than you absolutely have to so i'm trying to cut down on the amount of um four and 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 six and even in some places eight tracked areas i'm just trying to cut it down as much as possible which is partly partly what this whole thing is about and i'm trying to make the the stations more diverse here, here I'm just playing around with the with the station uh, because I was trying to figure out which which platforms I needed or, or which tracks needed to go through which platforms so that I could get the logging line to actually do what I wanted to do. And originally I had it on the left hand tracks, and then I figured out that actually I needed it on the right hand tracks. So, um, so. Yeah. So yeah, I figured it out eventually. This, uh, I really needed to lower the terrain here. This took quite a lot of lowering. And there's, um, there's still a lot of messing around I'm gonna have to do with that terrain, like later. That'll be done, I would imagine, well, that will be done off camera. That'll be just part of the, 
just like general tidying up and and probably a decorating session after after I've got this. I'm probably not going to go crazy with the decoration, putting in fields and stuff because I still need to put the passenger trains. And for example, like um, this Biggles Wade Valley, we're going to have passenger trains running through there. Um, the Chudley Valley is going to have passenger trains, and um, so. So yeah, I'm not going to be putting all the fields and whatever in yet because until I've done the passenger trains, there's no point because I'm going to I'd have to I'd have to do, redo lots of it. But look at that view coming down into the into the Biggleswade Valley, the airport. It's awesome. Now, this is me putting the lines in because obviously before we just had a long tunnel, like a really long tunnel, and it was boring. You couldn't see anything. It wasn't it wasn't a fun ride. It was like, it was kind of cool the first time, but it, it, it's not an interesting journey just being in a tunnel. It was kind of cool because it was so steep, but that was kind of the only interesting thing. So now you, you should see what I mean about uh, having lots of platforms, but very few like tracks. So this, before we had six tracks going down to the harbor, now we're only going to have two so it's just going to be a simple dual track now originally we had three lines uh, that were using those those six tracks now we've only got two lines and those two lines can share uh, one dual track so getting rid of all just got rid of all the others much more realistic and then once I've, once I've sorted out the terrain a little bit, pretty sure. You can see now it, it fans out into those six platforms when it gets down to the harbour. So you've got two tracks, six platforms. And that's what we're going to be seeing a lot more of. So this is the, uh, is this the, yeah, this is the oil refinery, the Biggleswade oil refinery. So I'm just replacing the station here because I didn't like it when it was like way up on that hill and it, and it doesn't need to be on that hill. In fact, it needs to be lowered and I ended up having to lower the terrain here quite substantially as you will see. It's, uh, I didn't realize quite how big this hill is that, go, that, that, that we're going, the, the hill on the right here. That's, it's quite big. So yeah, you can see, I start chopping away at the, at the terrain just to be able to lay a track. Here we go, chopping it back, chopping it back. Don't worry, I don't, I don't like completely flatten it or anything. I mean, the, the hill is still there and it's still a significant hill, but it's just a lot nicer to get the track through. Man, I can't wait to do the Chudley Valley. The Chudley Valley is going to be awesome. It's going to be a major challenge, though. Because that that first section, getting up to the top of that hill, like right, you can just see it in the top, top right-hand corner. Um, that's quite an elevation to get up there. And um, I'm going to need to do a fair amount of playing around with the terrain and and the, the positioning of the, the stations is going to be difficult. It's going to be really difficult running that through the Chudley Valley, but it'll be awesome when it's done. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. Now this, this is where these concrete walls should be used. So here I'm putting in the flying, the flying junction. So now we, we've got four tracks on the right hand side. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm branching off two of those. So it's still only a quad track. Uh, we're going to have, I think, four lines sharing four tracks. If it, if it had been three lines, then I would have tried to just, um, dual track it which is what I was originally going to do but then then I realized that I've got an extra line on there so put the extra one on 
And I, that, that flying junction, I do like that. Um, yeah, and then I rerouted those tracks so that they're actually on the right one. So that's the, that's the oil line, the oil and plastics line that's going to be using that flying junction. Um, I'm not sure. I think the logs line might use that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the logs line is going to use that flying junction. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing the last bits of uh, messing around with the train, just tidying up. So it's time to say goodbye to the time lapse and go back to our normal programming. Okay, well, we we made a lot of progress, but oh my god, there's so much more to do. We've still got to do the lines up here. I've got to put a station in there for the logs. We've got to move the station over here for Chudley and Aspatria. Oh my god, like seriously. Okay, what I want to do, um, we've got about 15 minutes left in this video. What I want to do is just get these lines um, kind of sort of sorted out. Now, Biggles Way Crude and Oil, that one's easy because we don't need that one anymore because we're going to have a single line doing it all. So we'll do it with Big Crude. So, um, TF, TF Big, where are you? Come on, come on, here we go. TF Big, Crude and Oil. Actually, if I get rid of, uh, no, I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't like the colour. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this one is going to be Crude oil and also plastic it's gonna do the whole journey all right cool yeah, get rid of that um, let's start with that why not what the hell why not let's let's start with this so there's the oil well uh, i had to replace this station by the way um because originally i put it in with one platform and then i've changed it to four platforms because I couldn't get the right configuration of like where the platform because I'd need like two transit lines and then a platform um, here and I, I just couldn't do it so I ended up just putting four platforms in there and it is what it is so um, this I want to rename this um, this is gonna be Biggles Wade oil well because it just makes it so much easier to keep a track of everything so um, this um, A1 Goods Freight Station, yeah, I mean, I suppose we can start there. Um, then we're going to come to this one. Then we want to come through Biggleswave Freight Station to here. Yeah, process the oil, then bring it back, drop it off here. It gets processed into plastic, and then we bring it back to A1 Goods Freight Station. Cool. And it, um, I'm actually going to move that because I'm just I much prefer it starting at the oil well so we end up at there now oh good it's put it on the right platform platform eight excellent what it can't do obviously it can't go out into here so we need to put a bit of an X in uh, oh, come on go, go straight thank you uh, let's get it up to about 60 that'll do and boom all right, cool. So we width down here, yeah, on this line, and then we go over here. What do you think of this? Do you like this? I like this. And then we come through. Ah, now, huh. That's not right. That's not what we want. So how do we get it coming through the right platform? Uh, and it's going completely it's going completely the wrong way it's on the wrong it's completely on the wrong lines God. okay uh, coming back um, we want to stop at platform four don't we so uh, uh, what do I want terminals we want yeah we want to stop at platform four so because what Oh, well, if we start, uh, we want to go that way. Oh, no. So, actually, we want to be on platform three, idiot. There we go. So, we want to be on platform three. So, this was right. We start on platform because um, we're coming up this side. 
So we want to start here. I need to put um, some signals in, I think, probably to get this to work. So we want a signal there. Okay. Whiz down here. Whiz, 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 whiz. And then we want a signal in there. Oh, there we go. So, whiz, whiz, whiz. Over the concrete bridge. Over there. Right. So now I just need to, go, to get you to go into there. So if we put a uh, signal in there. Now, uh, we need you to be on terminal 8. Right, we've got you on terminal 8. That's fine. So I'm guessing I need to put an X in. Oh, no, we've already got a thing. Ah, well, maybe I just need to put a signal in. About there. Oh, no. Now, why... Why aren't you going onto that track? You should. I've got you properly signalled. Hmm. If I set you as a one way only. Hmm. Same, set you as a one way only. That should have switched over. I don't understand why that hasn't switched over. One way. Okay. Um, this is. Biggleswade North. So this is going to be Biggleswade North Oil Refinery. Oil Refinery. Okay, so we want to say, before we get to the oil refinery, I'm going to force, I don't know why it's doing this, but what the hell. Uh, go through that signal. There we go. Now we're rocking and rolling. We've got our first route in. Ha <laughs> ha, there was much rejoicing. Okay, so get rid of that. Close that down. We've still got to get like trains and all that kind of stuff, but it's, it's a start. Right, Ashby, plastic and goods. So this is taking the plastic, up. you know, um, we could, we could actually have this, this train do like, like the whole journey, but I think, I think we'll swap over. So yeah, so what do we want to do here? We're gonna have to put an X in up here. Be a lot easier with a bit of track. So we want an X going up here. Let's get it up to. Uh, let's see if we can get it up to close to 60. Let's see if we can get it up to 60. There we go. And then. Will you? Will you? Yes, you will. Hooray! Thank you. My God, something's working for once. That doesn't happen very often. Um, is that the right spot? No. Nope. That's the right spot. And, uh, why won't you do that? Ah, oh, there we go. Hooray! Okay, so we've got our X's in. Okay, so we've got two lines coming up here. We've got TFA1 goods. Let's forget the plastics for, for a second. We've got TFA1 goods and we've got TFA1, uh, TFA1 slag. Right, so this is Rivera Freight Station. Cool. So we've got our X's in down here, so that's fine. So they should come up here. We've got our X's in here. Okay, so. Uh, we just need to be into two different platforms. Yeah, this should be all right. So if we set the, the platforms on this, so we want TFA, uh, let's do, let's have the goods on platform five. That's working. And that on platform six. And that's working. All righty. Sweet. Okay, so that, that's those two sorted out. Peachy. So these two lines are, are now going to share a single track. So we're moving to this idea of having lots of lines fanning out to lots of platforms. So I've actually got two platforms more than I need here. Um, but condensing down to just as few, as few tracks as possible, uh, which is the, you know, that's the realism. That's 
that's how it actually is in the real world. So what we can do, for example, is take a track off there. Ah, won't fit. Won't fit. Uh, let's tr try it a little bit further back. Where about from there? Ah, you'll see you'll do that. We'll run that into there. Find where the switch is there. And put that in. Right, there you go. So this is what this is what really happens. You get the tracks and it fans out to multiple platforms. All right, cool. Let's let's just do this because I just can't stop myself. Oh, God. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm addicted to flattening. There we go. And just do that one as well. All right, cool. And I will do the same with this one. We'll have these tracks fanning out and whatever. Okay. Uh, next, 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 next. Ashby, right, so have we got an X on here? Yes, we've got an X on here. So this should be, like in an ideal world, like platform three. Yeah, so terminals, and we want you on terminal three, please. Oh, and it works. Yeah, perfect. It's working. Peachy, alrighty, cool. So that's uh, that's that done. My God. Right uh, now, here we go. TFA one slag. This is going to be a more complex line. What's going to happen now? Over here with the with the with the stone. Before we were just taking the stone up there. It was being converted into the construction materials and then we were shipping it into Biggleswade. Well, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to ship it up there. It's going to be shipped back by the trucks, which means I've got to change the trucks because these trucks won't carry the construction materials. So that's one thing for a start. Um, oh, you know what? I need uh, I need my new trucks mod before I can do that. We'll, we'll do that in the next episode. So um, what we do want to do, uh, did I put... What on earth is going on here? I think I put that on to get that train to go over there. Okay, whatever. So we want this uh, going on. To, okay. All right. This should work. So you, we want you to go to here. Hooray. And if I put a little signal uh, about there. Okay. What about if I put a signal at the other end? Will you do it if I put a signal at the other? Oh, you won't do it because I haven't put an X in. I don't blame you for not doing it then. Can't do it if you the, the tracks are not physically connected. Uh, let's put that in about there. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. And now it works perfectly. Hooray. So that's the slag. Now what, what's going to happen is we're going to have the construction materials uh, brought down here by that train. And that's all it's going to do. It's just going to ship the construction materials backwards and forwards down there. Probably just a single train. Um, I don't know. Might, maybe it might be two trains. But I'm thinking of using like shunting trains. For, uh, shut up, Sky. We'll, we'll do that another time. Um, so that's that. And then we're going to need this line to actually take those materials, those construction materials. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, to Biggleswade. So, you're going to go from, well, I mean, it kind of doesn't really matter which way around it is, but I'd kind of prefer it if it was going from here to Biggleswade. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So, how does that work? So, it's coming in here. Let's put in a signal. Um, do I want you using that Track. I think I, I think I do actually. Yeah. So that's right. My God. So let's put in. We want a signal. There. We want a signal there. And we can pop in some signals. Actually, these are these outside ones are kind of potentially dummy lines, but I'll put a signal in there. I guess. Yeah. I'll do those later. Okay, so why aren't you coming back on the on the outer line? You stupid, stupid thing. Why aren't you coming back on the outer line? 
Oh, because I haven't put a blooming X in. Can't do it if you can't do it. I t this computer, well, not the computer, but the, the AI of the game, must get really sick of me complaining at it all the time. Why aren't you doing that? It's like, oh my God. Put some track in. Actually, like, allow me to put the lines that way and I'll do it. And it works. Hooray. So we can now get those goods down to there. Excellent. What next? Goods. Ashby Biggleswag goods. Now this is going to go, well, we've already got it set up. Biggleswag freight station, A1 goods freight station. Now what we want is to, for this to share this line, I think, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think so. So we just, I think we just probably need to get it on the right platform. So we want you on platform, sit, uh, some platform, yeah, on platform, well, platform six is gonna be sharing, but something's gonna end up sharing with something anyway. So um, I think, let's put it on platform, ah, oh, well it works. Ching. So it shares with that. Um, I could, like I could switch this onto platform seven at the moment, but I've also got the the logging. Um, but the logging the logging skips through there, and that's going to be a straight through. So maybe no, I think maybe it could. I think maybe it could. Let's well, let's put it on there for for now, maybe. So we actually want you on, I want goods, we want you on platform seven, please. Uh, I want goods, terminal seven, if you don't mind. There we go. Awesome freaking source. All right, peachy. Okay. Uh, so we've, uh, we've got uh, the, that done and we've got this one done. Oh my Lord. We've done all of those. Uh, all that's left is the logging. But I can't do that one yet because I haven't got the, the the station put in up here. So we'll leave that one. But there you go. Now there, there is other stuff that I need to get hooked up. I've got to get all of these set up on here. Um, but the thing is, like next step, there's kind of no point doing that because the next episode, we're gonna put a, a station in here. We're gonna re, like move this station over here in Chudley, move the Aspatria one, put the lines in, and then we can get all of these lines and Eastbourne and Wellington and all the rest of it sorted out. Holy crap on a popsicle. Um, we'll leave it there, guys, for this episode. I cannot wait to see your comments and see what you think about this whole rework and the idea of the heritage lines. I think a few people will be excited about that. Having some steam trains in the game again. Oh yeah. And um, yeah. Like, and to be honest, I haven't really looked at this, but I don't think this is gonna change. Um, I don't think Wellington is gonna change too much. Although I, I will see, I say that, but I do have to think about the, the passenger things. And I was thinking about something with the passenger things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was thinking about like, if we've got, if, if I do my, my linking like every town to every town, would I get them to go Biggles Wade to Wellington to Shepshed? Or would I allow them to do like an express line Biggles Wade straight to Shepshed? And if I did do that, I was thinking, well, if I put a bridge across here, then I could have the passenger line going onto the bridge and going straight to Shepshed, and also have a line that goes from Biggles Wade onto that bridge. So it'd be like a triangle here. That's what I was thinking about. Anyway, that's that's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> but it's totally off the point. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Heritage lines, rework, all this nonsense, logs, oil, plastic. And I'll catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.